2020. Welcome back to a show that's uh, not been on for a couple of days. And uh, you'll see the reason why I've been uh, trying and spending uh, quality time in trying to cajole a guest into today's uh, happenings. Uh, let's welcome somebody who's going to do the dish for today. The name of the dish is Menti Kadu, which is made with methi, leaves, uh, wheat flour. The other ingredients are here, which are written out for you. There's garlic pods, there's jeera, there's chili powder, there's ghee, there's turmeric, there's salt, hing and oil. Uh, actually, before I go ahead with this dish, I must tell you that uh, I owe this dish to Ritika's aunt, Maleshwari auntie, who's a very good cook. And it's from her that the entire family learned to make this dish. So, Ritika will start doing it as I tell you how we go about it. Welcome, Riti. Twenty ml of oil and half the quantity of ghee, say about ten ml of ghee. But I said twenty ml. I think yes, twenty ml of oil and about ten ml of ghee. A generous helping of uh, cumin seeds or jeera, that's about one and a half teaspoons. This is for about three bunches of uh, methi. A cup full of garlic, which is uh, poured, uh, three full pods of garlic. Ensure that you mix the mixture in the ghee and oil. Continue to do so till it comes to a light brown. Once it starts coming to a light brown, bring down the intensity of the flame, bring it to a simmering heat and add the methi, the pre-washed and cut methi leaves. I said there were three bunches of it. Saute the leaf with the clove of the uh, garlic. One whole or two, one and a half spoons of uh, chili powder. Again, this is subject to whether you want it spicy or you don't. I've added about 600 ml of water. As the mixture is slowly getting boiled, close the lid and let it slowly simmer. In the meanwhile, you can make roughly Three balls made out of um, how much of wheat, Ruthie? About 250 grams. 250 grams of wheat and uh, 
knit it. Use some dry wheat flour. Use a rolling spoon of the kind that uh, she's now using. And if you don't have it, use a sharp knife. To get small pieces. Dust some dry flour into the plate and now take the cut pieces of the wheat from the chapati format, collect them in the plate and keep them ready. Of the three bowl, uh, huge uh, molds made, this is one. Similar processes for the remaining two will also be done. You now see that the liquid is coming to a boil it has been in low flame till now now the flame was increased and you can see it's come to a full boil at this stage take the cut pieces of the wheat flour which also has the reminiscence of those uh, dry flour let it also go into the mixture so that the mixture will get a certain thickened consistency. Now allow this mixture to cook for about five odd minutes. Close the lid yet again and let it cook for about another five minutes and then it will be time to take it off and the dish will be ready. Uh, ensure that the mix comes to this consistency. It's going to thicken after it cools down. So stop and take it off the stove at this stage. The dish is ready. No extra preps are required to present it. You will notice that the garlic, the uh, wheat flakes, the methi are all seen. Uh, before I sign off, yet again, uh, credit to Maleshwaratta for uh, being the chef who introduced this dish to the family. Uh, uh, Maleshwaratta to some of you who don't know is Leela's mom. Hi Leela, it's been a while since we've got your responses to the dishes that we've been making. Uh, thank you to Dattu, thanks uh, Ritika for uh, doing the entire thing. Catch up with you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.